Hello guys, this is Quantum Blur. Today I'm going to be showcasing my um, Minecraft TARDIS. Um, you saw in the previous video, but I didn't... Uh, <clears throat> Bunny, you're not helping. Um... One moment. Axe. This is vanilla. Uh, all vanilla. 1.8.1, .1, as you can see up here. Um, it's um, completely modless. Also, it's um, actually eventually going to be multiplayer, at least LAN compatible. So this is the TARDIS you saw in the previous video. I've changed around the chameleon circuit a bit. Now, mentioning that, I am going to show off the chameleon circuit. First, this is the game mode changer. Now, this is where the chameleon circuit room is. So what this is, is the dematerializing version of this, which is what you customize in order to get whatever exterior you desire. Now in this case I'm just gonna just make a little mock-up exterior. Break the glass and that didn't happen. Second time. Um, so now that I've done that you're going to sit and watch in amazement or not press the button it will clone it over here and then it uses the replace block command to replace any wool with glass of the same um, data tag number so that means dematerializing when I step on this plate the door to the interior will update to whatever I built in that room now the exterior will not update till you press the rematerialize button which is here this button is kind of it's crucial to travel which is the next thing I'm going to cover I might eventually make it a handbrake a uh, lever instead so first things first this it has coordinate travel you can just type in a coordinate and it auto implements the coordinates and whatever you want so I'm gonna just actually cancel go back and stop please add a few more zeros and then press the dematerialize button dematerialize rematerialize here and so there's the island here I am I'm facing positive X so I'm going to head on in and change my coordinates a few bits add about uh, 30 and then 7 and then rematerialize and then rematerialize up here now um, I am now here and if you paused the video to look at what my prior coordinates were I'm very close to the previous spot I'm just a few um, blocks away and it's no longer there because it dematerialized completely. It used to leave shells behind. It doesn't now. Um, it's. Um, I'm planning on updating the platform so that it actually uses the masking command so it's not such an obvious big block of dirt around it. It blends more. Um, next thing I want to show off, in conjunction with coordinate travel, it can go anywhere literally from one edge of the world boundary to the other not just loaded chunks so I'm gonna go to negative two nine zero 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 um, and then negative two nine zero 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 that's close to one edge I'm not gonna get too close or else I might end up materializing it halfway past the world boundary which would get messy so dematerialize what was that rematerialize and apparently I have redstone blocks um, so yep this is where I am now uh, and 
don't know why I did that. Actually, I do. I was testing. It didn't land exactly there last time I tried those coordinates. Oh, I'm lower. So now I'm going to make it the opposite edge of the world and rematerialize over there. Okay, and I want to just clarify, watch the coordinates. Here I am, positive, all positive, and indeed, at co close to coordinates, 2900, zero, 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 and for X and Z. Now, again, going back to negative, 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 and rematerialize. And now you will see in the corner negative two nine zero 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 or close for X and Z. So yeah, it is not reliant on being within loaded chunks. It can go anywhere um, because it uses you as a chunk loader. It doesn't bother with any of those complex teleporting entities somehow keeping the chunk loaded. Tried that. Didn't work for me. Sorry. <laughs> So now we get into the interesting bit. I'm going to travel to an, inter, to an interesting location I saw in the past. Save location cycler. You can save the locations, you can give them a name, and this is the displayer. It's got nice little particle effects for traveling. And, um, why did it happen? Anyway, um, so, yeah. As soon as I see a name, that's not a name, silly me. So I'm going to travel to Gravel Hills. Travel. This is Gravel Hills. Now, you probably noticed this little thing. This is another experimental TARDIS um, for when this map, as I mentioned, is eventually going to be op available for being open to land. At the moment, this particular TARDIS here is compatible with being able to have multiple people online and it teleport designates one person as the pilot and as the person who gets teleported around as the chunk loader this one doesn't do that it just teleports whoever's nearest the console so it teleports one person to dematerialize then teleports the next person who's nearest to dematerialize rematerialize rather and um, then you end up with one person who's been teleported outside and suddenly no longer has a TARDIS, and another person who's been uh, teleported outside and they have no idea where the last guy went unless they save the location or memorize the coordinates. So, um, yeah, it does get a bit messy. Uh, the moment this is the saved location cycler, and now we get to the bit that the TARDIS is all about, which is time travel. So this is fast travel. Right click the um, daylight sensor and it will switch f add or subtract. It will add 12 hours or some number of ticks. I'm not familiar with time exactly. I just sort of came up with it. Um, it'll switch from day to night with the sun in the same position as the moon. Now this is the slower time travel which adds 1200 ticks um, as it cycles you can see the cycler down there actually and um, so that's changing the time more slowly more precisely um, that's about all I've got for you I've, I'm gonna head back to my home and then add a few extra well, first of all, which direction am I facing? I'm facing this direction, so positive Z. Add a few more Zs. Zs. Um, 7. 607. 66. And then dematerialize. I'm headed back home. And here I am. Hello. So that's that. This is my TARDIS. Um, leave a like. Check out the rest of my channel if you want. Um, and if I get to 100 likes on this video or my prior TARDIS video, which was a little less well developed, um, then I will make a new video showing the circuitry.